Hey everyone, it's Joseph Katz with Kettle Space co-founder Dan Rosenzweig. How are you doing today, Dan? Fantastic. I'm, I got a standing desk now, so you know I'm ready to move. You're ready to run. Get one of those walking desks. That would be the next thing. That's you know a, a boy can dream. <laughs> well, I just want to regroup with you and talk more about the hub and spoke model and the office of the future and all these. Uh, hot topics as companies are starting to think about, you know, what's their future. So why don't we just start with a really basic question? You know, is it important to even have an office and what's the purpose? So, so a great question. Um, I think most people don't necessarily ask like what the purpose of an office is, right? It, it serves many functions. Um, I, I can name a few here, but I'm, I'm going to miss a bunch. But, um, you know, historically speaking, it was uh, the only place that your whole team could come together. It was also a storage unit. It's where you kept all your files. It's where your clients knew to meet you um, because they couldn't contact you 24-7. Um, it's where your servers existed when they're, you know, in a, in a you know, 1.0 digital age. Um, so it really was a, um, a place for collaboration between you and your team and then your team and your clients. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously that's evolved a bit and we can get into that a little bit more um, because the purpose of the office has evolved over time. So the one thing you left off was the place to put your company logo. That was, that was always, you know, bragging rights to have your big logo when your people walked in. That's uh, a, a, an important point, right? So the, um, it was a, a, a bit of a culture set in terms of what the aesthetic of the office was like. Um, and then also you're hundred percent right, right? It was a branding opportunity. It was a place for you to stick your logo. Um, and from a prestige standpoint, it gave you um, the ability to attract more talent, right? So that they were coming and working in a, a warm and welcoming environment, but also a signaling for your clients so that they would say, oh, look at these golden, golden walls. These guys must be uh, crushing it. <laughs> so uh, what do you think the purpose of the office is today? So I think the key is, and I, I touched on this a little bit earlier, but it's, it's a, a collaboration space, right? The idea is um, we, because of, you know, band expansion and bandwidth and also a lot of new digital tools are connected to each other um, all the time. Uh, we, can, we can find each other, whether you're in a chat room on Slack or you're Zooming or you're physically in the same space, which um, will, coming soon, it will be happening a little bit more, I, I certainly hope. Yeah, um, vaccines but, are coming. Yeah, you know, my dad just got vaccine as a physician. Very exciting. Um, but, you know, it's changed over time. I think uh, it's no longer a storage unit, right? I think your clients know how to find you without physically showing up at the address or, or dialing your, you know, your main number. They probably have access to your cell phone, et cetera. So the use, like the core utility of what the office is ha has, has to evolve, right? Um, uh, if we've learned anything over the course of the pandemic, it's that... Um, Statistically speaking, a, a productivity hasn't declined. In fact, it's actually increased for most companies. Um, but where we're seeing um, a, a drop off is in terms of employee morale um, and it, overall uh, people's well being. So, mm -hmm. um, if the office is serving its main purpose and collaboration is part of that, I think the key would be um, finding a way to socialize employees with one another, get them in rooms together when they need to be to do uh, heads down creative work. And then um, once you're checking those boxes, um, you can uh, kind of design your, uh, your, your office environment around that. So uh, more places for people to touch down and work together, uh, whiteboards and, and flexible types of, of uses um, on certain days when people need, need to be collaborating. And then when people have to do heads down work, they can kind of do it from anywhere they want. So that collaboration element doesn't necessarily need to be at a quote unquote corporate office, it, this needs to be at a workspace where that activity can take place. So completely touching uh, into our hub and spoke conversations. Exactly right, right. It's a physical environment, right? It can happen at a hub, it can happen at a spoke. Um, it really is just a room that is, you know, you can have a little bit of privacy. Um, if you need a whiteboard, you can have access to it. If you need, um, you know, a video screen to do presentations, you can, you know, have access to that. Um, whether your logo is on the door is, kind of missing the point. Um, it's just about um, making sure that there's an environment that is uh, conducive to collaboration and that is uh, easy for your team to access and, and doesn't break the bank from a cost standpoint. So, so what do you think? Is the office dead? 
you know, are, have we seen, you know, is the future remote? I mean, these are all headlines we've seen in, you know, major totally. publications. Yeah, I, I think they're trying to grab uh, people's attention. So yeah, of course, <laughs> is the office dead? No, it's evolving, right? Is the future remote partially, right? I think uh, the, the best thing I've heard, and listen, I'm, I'm super biased, so take it with a grain of salt, is, um, is a hybrid approach, right? Everyone likes to sort of put their stick in the ground and be like, it's black or it's white. The truth is it's very gray. Um, and for each team, right? And by team, I mean company, right? And for each team within that company, now I mean like actual teams, um, they're, they all work differently, right? So for some teams, it, if they need to be in the office five days a week, all day long, like so be it. Um, that, that makes sense. And for some teams, I guess that that might need to happen. I guess if they're physically manufacturing a, a thing, like you got to be on the assembly, assembly line, you can't necessarily do it remotely. Um, no, that'd be a and then there are team things that can be done like in the office some of the time and then remote some of the time. So like if you're in a very creative role, right? I think it's hard to, um, to recreate the, that brainstorm type of environment when you're working on like a client pitch or something when, uh, when you're not in the exact same room. So you can sit there, you can whiteboard with each other. You can bounce ideas off each other in an organic way over a sandwich or, you know, you know, whatever that might look like. Right. Um, but that's not necessarily five days a week, right? That could happen over the course of one or two or three. Um, and the rest of it can kind of happen wherever, right? When you're actually building the campaign or, or, or you know, you're, you're doing the work of the work, as we'd say. There's also been this idea that, you know, companies, you know, they kind of consolidate in central locations, Midtown Manhattan, for example, Lower Manhattan. Uh, do you see that changing, you know, spreading out more? you know, or just more spokes off of those? You know, I think it really depends, right? If, if ultimately um, everyone doesn't need to be in the office all day, all week, then you don't necessarily need a desk for everyone, right? So I think it might behoove some companies to sort of reduce their footprint a little bit, right? Not necessarily scrap the whole thing, but I think um, on an, uh, you know, a square foot per employee is probably going to come down. And realistically, that's been happening for, for decades, right? It, uh, you know, in the 80s, it was north of 500 square feet per employee. And now it's somewhere between, you know, 100 and 300, generally speaking, right? The trading desk mentality has become more popular. Um, and, you know, and with it, right? Uh, so it's, you know, real estate generally has been be getting more efficient. Um, but um, in terms of like how companies are using it, right? I think because of these amazing tools, um, and bandwidth and wireless access and, and laptops, right? You don't necessarily have to come in to be as productive. And I think the stats on, you know, this past year have proven that people yeah. can be productive wherever they, wherever they're working from. And they're going to try the best, find the best environment uh, that's most conducive to their own productivity. Dan, it's always a pleasure and enlightening to talk to you. So thank you. Uh, we'll continue the conversation, I guess, uh, the next video next week. Until then, have a great day and uh, enjoy and see you soon. Can't wait. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Take Joseph. Care.